Hmm, EXO or XXO? Which side do I swear my allegiance to? Help me out here, guys. It'll probably come down to the pants, to be honest. You know what? You know what's funny? When I talk about pants, some people are like, you have an obsession, my friend. But when I don't mention them, people ask, are you okay, man? You didn't even mention Mama Moo's pants, which I did, thank you very much. How could I not? Look at them, they're magnificent. I would love to spend a whole video on them. Actually, you know what? I should do a best of 2019 pants edition. Is that weird? Nah, it's fashion. I mean, it definitely wouldn't be as weird as posting a picture of me kissing a cardboard Jimin. Yeah, so remember Ollie London, the guy who got surgery to look like Jimin? Well, I guess fans are now worried for BTS because of his stalkerish behavior. The kissing thing is just a tiny tip of the iceberg. You can actually see it yourself. He's been constantly tweeting at BTS trying to get Jimin's attention, tweeting about singles day. Apparently he goes to places that Jimin likes to go to, but I'll be honest, I haven't seen anything personally that suggests that fact. Let me know if you have. What I have seen is that he said some Islamophobic comments, but he's also come out disputing that. So it's up to you what you want to do with both of these. Fans are writing to Big Hit about his quote, obsessive and disturbing behavior. It's encouraged by a lot of people to ignore him and his tweets, to not expose him to other artists, but it looks like he already has his eyes on Felix. Wait a minute. Opa? I don't think that's how it works. Wait a minute. Who is Billy Irish? So yeah, the word is to not engage and to report him to Big Hit rather than calling him out. The complete opposite of what Blackpink fans are trying to do and accomplish. Fans are outright calling YG out publicly, bringing up past promises which now that the year is winding down, we can see were never kept. After hashtag Blackpink leave YG apparently didn't get their attention enough, hashtag Blink's call out YG seemed to have blown up even more so. Not only trending in Canada, not only trending in Brazil, or all of these other countries, but trending number one worldwide. Even Teen Vogue took notice of it and contacted YG Entertainment directly, asking for a comment on the situation. I'm sure they're just going to ignore that and ignore all of this. They'll ignore it until the stocks hit rock bottom. But the question is, can they ignore a billboard that fans have actually raised money for and are planning to put it somewhere near the YG Entertainment building? That Rebel Alliance is kinda awesome. It's seriously sad though when the girls have to go on national television to ask for help getting more comebacks. And you would think YG would want to take advantage of all of their accomplishments if for nothing else, the money. The fact that fans have to ask for these things, something as simple as, hey, can you open them up to other producers? Some people speculate that YG doesn't want to split profits and revenue by only keeping their production solely in-house. I don't know how true that is, but we can't expect Teddy to produce everything with all that's on his plate already. Bottom line, whether you're a fan or not, I think we all want these girls to have a chance to be the music artists they are. The music artists they want to be, not just cover models. Let them be creative, let them interact with fans and take on more personal endeavors. I know this is going to fall on deaf ears, but please YG, free them from the dungeon and let them spread their wings. Wait a minute, is that Billy Irish?